Welcome back. We're here with Miss Brandy Poling, who is the Live White Boys and Girls Club director. How you doing, Brandy? Good morning, Debbie. Is it you're having a good day? I am so far. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, we had you come in. There's a lot of things going on at the Boys and Girls Club now. And one of the things I think is really cool is you've actually moved the club to the 20th century as far as security goes. So how have you changed the security at the Boys and Girls Club? Well, it's been changed for about a year, so we have secured doors. So you have to come into our foyer through the main doors, and then you have to stop at the second set. And um, then you'll come to a secure window where the receptionist is, and you can tell us your needs. And if we have to let you in, then we have to buzz you in, just like you would for the schools. I think that's so cool, because it, you can't just walk in the club now. It feels a lot safer. It does. It, well, it does for me when I show up. <laughs> yeah, and the front doors have the blue doors on it, mm -hmm. so it's a paper that goes on top of it, so you can't really see in, and then all of our side windows are mirrored, so we can see out, but you can't see in. I like that. That's a lot safer. It is much safer. That's wonderful. And then the, the programs. You've implemented some new programs in the club. What are some of those? Um, we are doing a lot of STEM programs. Yes. So science, technology, engineering, and math. And then we had a generous donation from Arvin Sango about a year ago for us to implement VEX Robotics. And it's the same robotics program that the middle school uses. And then we also have a 3D printer that we are utilizing. So it's been difficult for the staff to learn, so we're slowly making that progress, but it is definitely progress. Well, that's great that the staff is actually learning how to use it. Yes, they have to learn it to it, teach it. <laughs> exactly. But that gives them a better understanding of how to teach it if they've learned how to use it. Absolutely, because we know the struggles and difficulties it takes to implement it and to learn it. So it just makes you a better teacher. Well, and then you also have tutoring, don't you, for the kids? Even during the summer. <laughs> so there's still several kids who are in um, summer school that right. attend the club, so we're helping with that. And then some of the kids are still turning in what they needed to for college and a little bit of e-learning for different schools. And then um, just our regular academic programs um, for reading and for math that we implement every day. So, absolutely. Well, that's a big help to parents and teachers mm -hmm. by you doing the, the, edit, the tutoring program. Yes, and it's taken a little while, but we've, we've gotten a really good bond now with a lot of the Madison and Southwestern teachers, and they're actually coming to the club now to do some of their own tutoring in our facility. That's great. It that, is. Those kids, if they get that little extra boost, they'll move on. Mm -hmm. and, and when you're doing the virtual schooling that we've been doing lately, it's a lot harder. I'm a, I'm a visual learner, so I need someone to talk to and to relate to while, while I'm learning. Right. So and that's what their teachers are able to do. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when this, as far as the summer goes, you still have openings at the club, right? We will not fill up. We have a lot of openings. <laughs> You take you take just about as many as you can. Don't you? We do. Well, the facility we can hold about fourteen hundred. Right. So we're thinking about fifty or sixty a day. We still have a lot of room to grow, especially during the social isolation. Yes. We still take a lot of numbers. That's wonderful. It is. Uh, the kids are always happy when I'm there. Yes, the kids are generally happy, period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. So now, one of the programs that you wanted to talk about was what? Um, it would be, let me see my little note here, yes. um, scholarships we have available for the parents. So we know a lot of parents haven't been able to work during this time or they're behind on their bills or they're just generally struggling to make payments right. in everyday life. So there's a lot of scholarships that we have that will allow them to come for free. So we have Indiana Kids program, which we've had for years, which ends August 1st. But we can, um, that program allows them to have a week free during the summer and then two months free during the school year. But then they can also get a Jane's Kids scholarship. And that um, allows them for two weeks free of summer and um, a week free of um, summer care or child care during the school year. If they are a Anderson school, a middle school, Madison Middle School student, or an elementary school student at Southwestern, then they get free care for two weeks of summer, and the entire school year is free. Oh, so my goodness. There are a lot of opportunities, and if they don't qualify for more than just a couple weeks, we don't turn any kid away for financial needs. So we can help any way parents need us to. Well, that's, that's a big help because kids don't need to be at home alone. They do not. Things can happen, and you know, and we feed them. They get um, lunch provided through the um, DOC right now, so they bring us their lunch. We feed them a snack, 
So, and if there's extra and we know that with a family, we make sure that goes home with the other families. So our kids are not hungry during the summer. I like this. This is great. It is. So now, what are the, some of the things the kids can look forward to when they show up at the club? Um, well, we start swimming soon which starts um, June the 17th. We're going to do Wednesdays and Fridays. So um, we're going to take as many kids as they want to go, and the Mass and Parks Department is um, being very generous and working with us on that. So, um, and we've had a little negotiations, talks about some parents are concerned, are their kids going to be safe at the pool? The club's going to be open if you don't want your child to come. There's other activities during the day for them to come. You know, we're doing um, arts and crafts every day. They do cooking. We have coding. There's computer classes. We play in the gym. If it's nice, we go outside to play. I mean, what a, what a better way to social distance than outside right. in the sand volleyball pit, pit, building sand castles, is what we did yesterday. So, I mean, and there's just so much space at the club. So when we're doing robotics, you would think you're kind of close together. You're not. No. Um, we have a teen room, which all the kids are utilizing right now. So they're able to play um, safe games for Xbox and PS3s. Um, you know, it's silly games we're playing, like four squares and um, rainbow tag, line tag. But we're not using our hands anymore because that's not safe. So they're using pool noodles from the waist down <laughs> to play tag with. Oh, wow. Um, and they, you know, we're playing a lot of relay races. Yes. Um, rock, paper, scissors, just air, making airplanes. There's just so many activities you can do with kids where they don't have to be on top of each other and not be safe. Right. And, well, you've had a good, you've had a lot of good things go with this because there's kids that are there especially first responders have not been able to take off work so those kids have been at the club right we have <laughs> been helping the parents that have to work so yeah. we have a lot of parents who are nurses who are cooks at the nursing homes right. who are working at the detention centers so we have been take caring for the kids of essential workers oh, well how much I have to ask this question how much hand sanitizer do you go through at the club a in lot. a week <laughs> a lot so of course every hour on the hour we wash hands and take temperatures and that includes our staff if you try to come into the facility you're getting your temperature taken you're having to wash your hands right so um i know there's been talk in july that a lot of places are going to quit doing that we don't really see a need to stop doing it i i wouldn't um, I, I agree it's not hurting anything so our hands were getting really sore and their hands were getting sore so we just got some lotion with essential oils in it um, and then one of our science projects next week is to make a lotion. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but we're going to try. But, it, you know, hand sanitizer, a little bit will go a long way. Right. And then, but most of it, we are just washing our hands. Well, I think with the way the kids have all been healthy through all this, it, that says a lot about washing your hands. It really does. You know, we've been really blessed. The staff haven't been sick. The kids haven't been sick. Now, it is a little bit different. We might eventually stop doing this, but when you come into the club, if you're dropping off a child, you have to fill out a child wellness form, and it's about the family, about the kids. Have you been exposed? Yes. Do you know of anybody? So we do review that just to make sure that that child's still safe to come in to be with other children. Well, that's a good, I think that's a good policy. It is. It's, it, you're doing a good job. Oh, it wasn't my idea, but I saw it from someone else, but it works. It, well, as long as it works, that's, that's all right. that matters. So now, with all that, what times a day, during the day, is the club open for kids to come? How early can they come, and how late can they be picked up? They can come at 6 a.m. and leave at 6 p.m., so 12 hours a day. Um, most of our kids get there around 7, mm -hmm. and most are gone around 5, but there's some early risers and some... A few of the parents don't get off till about five, five thirty. So, and then by the time they get there, it's about six. So it is. But that's still that's a good long that's a good period. It is, and we'll continue these hours until kids are back in school. Yes. And there's been a little talk that we might rotate days when kids go to school, and we've had a few phone calls from parents. But the kids are not in school. We will be open the twelve hours a day, Monday through Friday. Right. Well, that's a good resource for the parents to be able to get their kids it there. Is. And then during school. You have tutoring that's every day, right? Every day. And then they can come straight from school, go mm -hmm. to the club, mm -hmm. get the tutoring that they need there, right. and then the parents can pick them up. And It's just as easy as that. Bring your kids and we'll tutor them for I you. I think that's big because by the time, I know as a parent when my kids were young, mm. to be at school all day with the kids and then come home and cook dinner and you know get laundry done and ready for the next day, 
you don't have much time to sit down you're tired and even though i've worked there for 22 years i have three sons and they <laughs> did their homework at the boys and girls club because especially when they get in middle school and high school right i don't remember how to do algebra two i don't remember how to do geometry the way that they're learning now especially and so um i think it's important to remember we have high school students that are working there college students they right. know the new ways to do the programs and to help with the homework. And there's been a few times where we haven't been able to help with like trigonometry, but there's a phone number you can call for Rose Holman. We just call, they walk the kids through the steps, teach them. And so we're there to supervise and learn as we go, but that student still gets the answers they need. Oh, wow. So you have the resources we do. when you need them. Mm -hmm absolutely that's wonderful and again the teachers are really good about coming to the club if they need to to help out students right so now if parents want to get in touch with you and find out you know how to bring their kids or win and all that mm -hmm. what number do they need to call they need to call 812-265-5811 or they can email me at brandy polling b-r-a-n-d-i p-o-l-i-n-g at lide l-i-d-e white like the color b as in boy g as in girl c as in club dot com Perfect. That's they can get hold of you now. So. They can get and my cell phone's not going to be let out in public oh, right now. No. no, we don't want to do that because you don't need calls after work or on the weekend. You need some time off. Well, so is there anything else we need to make sure people know about the club? I think that's right a now? lot of information for right now. Cool. So, but the, we'll have new things coming up each month. Absolutely, we have some fundraisers we'll talk about maybe next week, yes. and some sports and um, clinics and activities we'll have. Oh wow! Yeah, I know we've got some fundraisers coming up some we activities do. That, so uh, good pup girl coming in july yeah. so that should be good for everybody to get out it should be safe by then so we're still kind of um ironing out some of the right. specifics but we'll have it done by next week awesome well we'll bring we'll bring you all that later so you can find out what's going on so as always we appreciate our sponsors for making all this possible and we thank you for watching thank you